This is a sketchbook from a six week trip I did to Rotterdam with um, some friends from college who did an exchange. Um, so you can see it was Rotterdam, January 12th, 1987. And we went to the, um, the Van Beelden Kunsten, I think it was called, the college. Um, they had a kind of an iron bar through the building which was indicating a pencil, so I just did that little drawing. <coughs> and, um, yeah, I used to call it the, the Bleeden Kunsten. <laughs> yeah, silly me, lost my keys on the first day, which is not like me. I don't know how I managed that, very embarrassing. This was my room. I did an exchange with a chap called Case, or Kais, I think he was probably pronounced. Um, and he went off to my little room in Exeter. And I just felt really bad because I, I stripped my room and put everything away. And he left everything out, all his record collection. I felt terrible when I got to Holland and realised that he'd been so kind to leave everything and I'd stripped everything. <laughs> so these are this is 10 minute poses. All of these sketches were 10 minute life poses. Oh, it's got the bleeding going on. This is the problem. You'll be careful what pens you use when you use sketchbooks because that was a felt, but it's bled and it's also left an impression as well, which is kind of interesting on that page, but it's not so nice when it bleeds through and destroys another drawing. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, pencil and a little bit cartoony with this one but I quite like that it's quite nice just two tones ten minutes I've managed to capture quite a lot in ten minutes really haven't I this was a cartooning class and we had to do a cartoon um, about the language barrier that was my little idea. And then all the sketches that are outside, they were done in haste because it was freezing. I mean, minus, something like minus 10, those sort of temperatures. Um, so I look at them now and I think, I don't know, I know, I can see they were done quickly. And I'm trying different techniques and different um, mediums. It's quite nice, I quite like that when the, um, and the felt pen starts to dry up. The Jazz Cafe Dizzy, one of my local haunts. Quite sort of fluid style there. The brush and ink. I can't pronounce that, wherever that is. Mathen Messen Werg. Weg. I've written all very grey. Well, it was January. Winter. That one, I think that might have been the one where I remember where I, I finished it and I threw the, well, I was holding some water in a little cup in my hand and I threw it onto the pavement and it froze instantly. And then I was really struggling to walk because my joints had frozen up. The old Cafe Centrum in Scheidem with this horrible bleed again from the next page, which was quite a nice sketch of Shardam itself with the windmill. Um, and I guess you could bring that into Photoshop and clean it up, but would it be worth it? And I quite like this actually, this impression on the other side in a different tone. Uh, that's that. It's too cold, I've written Shardam. Oh, this is Richard. He wasn't very good at looking after himself. Yeah, he was getting thinner and thinner. <laughs> this is my character, Despond Charlie. I think that may have been the first drawing. I'm not sure. That may have been the first one. Canal in Rotterdam. Hmm. We can get very far with that one. Another one with a... That would have been a black felt pen. 
and it's faded to that brown. The zoo. Yeah, you can tell these are done very quickly. <laughs> Not a lot of concentration. When your brain's frozen and your limbs are frozen, you don't work too well. The Jazz Cafe Dizzy again, waiting for the band. And the band. Yeah, it's slightly awkward, that is. I'm not sure about that one. A lot of these, actually, I'm not very happy with. But again, the bleed through was, that's, that was quite nice. In all of its tonal greys, blues. There we go. It's not easy drawing under these conditions. Fun and games at the Willy Board School, Rotterdam. I remember that. I was watching these children. They were playing football and there was a giant child who just pushed all the little ones out of the way and scored so many goals. I have an idea for a lino cut here. The town library. All very colourful it was. Yellow piping, blues. I can't read what I've written there. Anyway, <laughs> yellows, browns. Telecommune, here I've written here. Here I am in the land of the windmill amongst the trendy Dutchman set. I've seen them in boots, I've seen them in shoes, but I ain't seen them wearing clogs yet. <clears throat> There's the college with the um, iron bar through the side. Can you spot me in this Dutch crowd? They were all very colourful, except for me. Oh, that's a nice, I like that drawing of the Rijks Museum. It's done with a dip pen and a brush and a sort of sepia tone. Uh, that was my friend Paul. <laughs> what is it? The, oh, the Ting exhibition. A lady literally tripped and fell flat on her face and he laughed so loud and it must have hurt her. Study for an etching. That's right, I did an etching. My first ever etching. Yeah. Simple enough. They're not very, um, tonally, they're not very strong, are they, these? They're quite weak. <laughs> this is where Richard thought he bought an original Rembrandt etching, <laughs> which he clearly hadn't. Um, <clears throat> not for the money we had as students, that's for sure. Got a nice little pencil doodle of people working on a barge. People's sketches with bleeds coming through. These are quite, I don't like the thin line on that. This is quite weak. Don't like that. Guy working, welding. The city without a heart. Is that what that was about? I'm not sure. Yeah. A little joke there. I guess I'm saying it must be a tribute to the Geldof chappy because everyone's starving, so they've got no stomach. Again, quite wishy-washy. <laughs> Just using a brush to try and capture people skating on the lake. Again, quite light, aren't they? The colours I've used. Oh, that one's completely upside down, so I'll have to flip that on the computer. I think that must be the uh, the windmill in Shidem, I think. Oh, lino cut. Oh, this was interesting. I was the room I was renting was above this chap. Um, and I, because I'm a late night person, I would walk around at night and he used to get angry that I was making noise. And he kept coming out with different you know, weapons. 
So he's saying, case, case, you tell him I slit him. And then I went down to see him, so I said, well, I'm the one making the noise. And he was okay in the end. Um, but he was a bit of a worry. Liked his drugs. Right, interesting, a little 2CV there. Made a note that it was red. <laughs> I don't know why that matters. Oh, my heart's not in it. You have those days. Cafe Centrum again. Very loose style there. Quick pencil doodle. Oh, the bleed again. Green doors and windows, okay. Yeah, that damn pen. Shouldn't have used that one. <laughs> what a mess. I think that was um, Gouda. Yeah, it's got to be Gouda. A Gouda shop selling the cheese. <laughs> yeah, shame about this pen, isn't it? Look at that. That was quite nice, I think. When it was black. Yeah. You can see how much the black's faded because it would have been this, you know, similar to the thinner line. And there we are. Some more little cartoons at the end. I didn't know we're in here. And I believe that is the end of that sketchbook. Thank you very much for watching.